Hello, this is Paul Hutchinson, and in this video, I'm going to talk to you about Mixcloud Live and how to get the most of it using OBS and the option to switch between different camera shots as you're live streaming, all virtually. Let's jump in the video. Okay, just before we start this video, please do remember to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you click on that bell icon so you don't miss out on any future videos that are going to be coming out. I provide lots of videos all the time to do with music production and DJing and generally how to grow your tribe as a DJ using social media platforms. And in this video, we're focusing on Mixcloud Live, which in my opinion is one of the best streaming platforms at the moment. So let's jump on the laptop and have a look at Mixcloud Live and OBS and how to use them both. Okay, so this is the Mixcloud. This is my Mixcloud page. The thing to remember about uh, Mixcloud and Twitch and any of these platforms is that they are social platforms still. So you still need to interact with other users on the platform if, if you want to grow. You can't just go on there, start streaming and expect your page to blow up. It doesn't work like that. You need to use it like you would any other social media platform, interacting with other users, commenting on their stuff, liking their mixes, uh, leaving little comments. That's what it's all about. That's how you're going to grow your page, all right? I definitely recommend you making a nice profile picture as well, one that suits the brand and that matches the rest of your social media um, images. Then to, to interact with the community, you know, you need to go on and just have a look and listen to some of the other tracks. Uh, this, this is a part where you can listen uh, later to stuff that you've put by that you want to listen to. History shows you the uh, mixes that you've listened to in the past and favourites are some of the tracks or remixes that you've, you've favourited. So going back to the main feed, I definitely recommend you scrolling through and looking for looking for mixes that relate to the sort of music that you like. You can also do this by country search as well, selecting whichever country you want to search that way. Um, your stats you'll find over here in the right hand corner. This tells you how many plays you've had, uh, how many minutes people have listened, how many times they've favorited, how many comments you've had and how many reposts as well. And do make sure that when you go to your profile, that you fill in all of the information about yourself so that people can uh, find out a bit more about you. So make sure that you fill in your full bio there. And then also down the bottom as well, you can add links to your social media. So let me show you how you create those folders. If you just click on any mix, it's a guest mix for a radio show. So what we can do is add to, uh, let's have a look. So radio show. So once you've clicked on that, that's now grouped that into the radio show folder so that when you go back to your page at the beginning, you'll see the guest mix there. And that's already in the radio show folder. So that's how you group all of your mixes together into separate folders. So it makes it easier for people to find. It looks a lot more professional as well. So next thing, let's look at how we go live on Mixcloud. So we click up here onto the onto the grey box. And then put a brief description about your stream as well. Then when you click on confirm details, it then takes you to your setup stream. So these are the codes that you post into OBS. So let's jump over to OBS now. And we go to controls and then settings. Uh, you can also record. I definitely recommend that you record every stream that you do. So just before you go live, click on start recording, then click on start streaming. Uh, and that way you'll have a copy of uh, your stream and you can you can then use that to reformat into short videos or you can upload the, the MP3 to Mixcloud and put it on after the show's finished. So that's how you go live on there. Let, let's now look into OBS and how to set up the cameras and how to set up advanced scene switcher as well so you can program it in to move automatically so you don't have to do it. So the first thing you need to do is to set up your scenes. So this is what I have. I have a what I call a flyer at the beginning. So this is the first screen. As soon as I go live, this is the first screen that people will see. Then have uh, this fly count screen. So I start this, I go live uh, three minutes before my 
live stream starts with a little countdown uh, and usually plays some background music in between like a low volume just to kind of get people into the room ready for when I'm starting at exactly usually seven o'clock UK time um, and the way I made this was just to um, screenshot a video that was on YouTube of a countdown and then just put it into this as uh, part of a source you can see that has got a media source on here and just add the thing to the background and add some text as well it's just a really nice way of of starting your your stream then from there i go into my logo which zooms in so once the countdown's finished goes to the logo and then after that after the black it then go and then you can add a couple of things in sources as well um, i've just got my uh, one of the logos that i use for my brand there this is my Mikasa Estucasa logo that goes in the top right hand corner and then my name down the bottom as well. You can put as much as you want on there, but I try and keep it as clean as possible. So let's just set up one more uh, camera. And to do that, we go into scenes and then plus. Add a new scene. Let's rename this. Then we go on to sources and we want to add a camera video capture device click on OK and for this one we're just going to use the uh, the FaceTime camera that comes with my laptop and there it is so when we go to this now you can now see that we've got these two different camera angles set up and this is where the fun starts this is when you can start programming um, the scene switcher now to get this program if you just type in advanced scene switcher in the search this is what it comes up and then you just click on go to download and it downloads the program for you. You'll then see it in your tools down the top here. And to select it, you just click on advanced scene switcher. So general and sequence. So general is where you basically stop and start the transition. OK, so at the moment it's inactive. You can see there that the red lights flashing. And if you want to start it, you just click on start. So then we go to sequence. So this is when you set up the, the first one. So our first one is the flyer. And then we want that to go to, we want to change that then to fly count after one minute. So you can change the minutes there to seconds or hours, but we want it for one minute. And fade is generally the best option to use on this. So what we're doing is we're telling the system that we want the, we want the stream to start on the flyer and it will last for one minute then it will trans then we're going to go uh, fly count we're going to then switch to scene two so we already know that that fly count is a three minute video so we need to set that to three minutes okay and that one is set to three minutes because we know that's the length of that then after that we want to add another option so we click on this plus icon and this time we're going from scene two to main cam. Now the scene two is just a flash of the logo, the Paul Hutchinson logo. And we need that to stay up for seven seconds. OK, so from scene two to main cam. And we want that to be seven seconds with a fade. Then after the main cam, we're going to go to our other camera, which is the new cam. So another option, main cam to new cam. And there it goes. Then what we're going to do from then, obviously, we don't want to go back to the beginning on these. We just want to switch between these two camera options. So after we've gone main cam to new cam, we're going to go new cam back to main cam and we're going to do that after a minute so we'll close that go back to tools and advanced scene switcher this time we're going to start it then close that so now when we click on the flyer you'll see this change after one minute okay there's the first transition it's gone to our three minute countdown this is when you can start your background music just a nice and nice and low level. I see on the counter that we've got 15 seconds left to go 
and then you'll see the transition change to our logo then it will go to the main screen okay so there's the next transition to the logo zoom in on the logo and then it will come out and go to the main camera and that's when you start the stream start your music uh, and start DJing then you'll see the switch after one minute to the other camera view and then it will go back to the other one you can also add in different text on the uh, camera views if you wanted or a different message or um, a different picture in the corner um, totally up to you how you do that so there you go that is your ultimate guide to Mixcloud Live and how to stream better using OBS and splitting between different camera views automatically so you don't have to do it yourself. You can just concentrate on DJing. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you do want to know any more tips and, and tricks and things like this on how to be a better DJ, a better producer, um, do better live streams, and learn anything more about DJing in general, you can download my digital course now. It's called A DJ's Guide to Growing Your Tribe, available from my website, paulhutchinsondj.com, for only $19.99. Go and download it now. You won't regret it. See you in the next video.